The Parent Trap is a movie that will live in my heart forever. Let's take a minute to appreciate the actors of this classic film. Dennis Quaid, a masterpiece of an actor, a young Lindsay Lohan, another young Lindsay Lohan, but this movie's actually super messed up. The movie opens with Nick Parker, who's Dennis Quaid in the movie, and Elizabeth James, I don't know the actress's actual name. They're getting married, there's no dialogue, it's like a five minute opening scene, but they do play a song, so that's nice. L is for the way you look at me. Next thing we know, it's 11 years and nine months later. We went from this romantic wedding on a yacht to the next scene of a bunch of kids screaming and yelling, getting dropped off at a summer camp. I thought this was a boys camp. This is where we get our first scene with Lindsay Lohan at the summer camp. California? Do you like live in Hollywood? Do you like live next door to a movie star? Trying the same house. Her dad is Dennis freaking Quaid, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Lindsay Lohan's name in this movie is Hallie Parker, and Lindsay Lohan's name in this movie is Annie James. Stick with me. So Annie James is from London. She gets dropped off in a super fancy limo by her butler. Got all the way from London for this. Remember who you are. No, you remember who I am. We're, we're Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. This is the first thing they had together, and I'm talking about Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay Lohan. Hey girls, I've just got to have a scooby. This movie is super confusing. I didn't realize she had a twin. I had to rewatch this three times before I realized she's playing both parts. Somehow they end up sword fighting each other, but they don't know if the other person looks identical to themselves because they have helmets on. <laughs> So if you cheer for one of them, are you technically cheering for both of them? I was gonna recreate the scene of myself sword fighting myself, but then I realized I have no idea how to edit that. At the end of the sword fight, they take their helmets off, realize they look exactly like each other, shake hands, and get a shock, because that's what happens when you don't see your sibling for a while. This movie must have been such a pain to film because I had to reshoot everything twice because Lindsay Lohan had to act twice. So, did she get paid twice? Welcome to the audition. You realize this is for twins, right? Just hear us out. What are you talking about? It's just you. We can play both parts, right? Right. They get into this big fight after the sword fight for some reason and they start pranking each other. It goes way too far. That girl is with your doubt, the lowest, most awful creature that ever walked the planet. Well, that girl is you, so... And they both get sent to the isolation cabin. The isolation cabin. <laughs> Why did it even have a cabin out in the middle of nowhere anyway? It's like 20 miles away. Maybe it's best not to put two people who want to kill each other in the middle of the woods alone where nobody can hear them scream. Then like five seconds later, they become best friends. They're sharing things about their lives and... I wonder where this is going. Here's a picture of my house. A vineyard, and then who, who's that? It's Dennis Quaid. Don't worry, we'll get to him. Spoil alert, it's also your dad. This is where things start getting super messed up. This is where they find things out, like they have the same birthday. I'll be 12 on October 11th. <coughs> so will I. Each of the Lindsay Lohans is missing a parent, and the parent they do have never talks about the other parent that they don't have. Side note, one of the Lindsays has a British accent, what if they had forgotten which character they wrote the accent in for? I can't believe we've never met before. I know, it's it's insane. Twins! Twin brothers! Not brothers and sisters, I think we're brothers! I'm from London! Right, mate? Yeah! That, oh, uh, Australia, apparently! I can't believe we met at this summer camp way across the pond over there in America! They each have a picture of their parents that's ripped right down the middle. And you guessed it, they fit together perfectly. I have a picture of Josh, and it's ripped right down the middle. Right down the middle. Then they realize it's their parents. Sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. They're sisters, and in fact, they're twins. If we look exactly the same, and we have the same birth date, and we were born at exactly the same time, and at the same hospital, and we have the same DNA, and our parents are married, I think we might be twins. What are the odds of them going to the same camp at the same time and both ending up at the isolation cabin together? And both of them auditioning for this film and having a camera crew to film it. Wait, this is a documentary, isn't it? This is where you realize how messed up this is. The couple got married, had twin baby girls split up and then moved across the world from each other. Each parent took one of the kids, didn't tell the kid anything about their identical twin sister or anything about the parent that they left on the other side of the world. Who thought this was a good idea? The plot of this movie is that the girls are going to then switch places to get to know the parent they don't have. That is, Lindsay Lohan is going to switch places with Lindsay Lohan. It's all very confusing. We should switch places. 
When camp's over, I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. After they have switched places, one of the girls has a grandpa at home, and the other twin has, like, this lady named Chessa who's, like, a housekeeper or a maid. I'm not really sure. She's been there apparently her whole life. The grandpa and Chessie, who are live at different houses, both figure it out later in the movie that the girls are switched back and that's not the actual girl that they usually live with. But the thing is, they knew the other girl, otherwise they wouldn't have figured it out. So multiple people knew about this plan all along and signed off on it. Why did nobody say, maybe we shouldn't do this? When they're still at the summer camp before they make the switch, they have to teach each other all about each other's lives and personalities so they don't get caught by the parents when they actually do make the switch because it would be so bad if the parents found out they had a relationship with the other twin. Okay, it's his grandpa. Then the movie ends with the parents switching the kids back because they don't like the kid that they got switched with and they live happily ever after. No, I'm just kidding. They make the switch and back at home, each daughter is getting to know the parent that they switched with. With short hair. Who got it for you? A girl I met at camp. A girl at camp, your daughter, which is also me because we're both Lindsay Lohan. The mom is some hotshot wedding dress designer, but she can't be that good because in one of the scenes she puts this top hat on this bride and actually thinks it looks good. Back. That's it. That's good. And finally, we meet Dennis Quaid. He's a dad and he's loaded. And I'm not just talking about his looks. It's him. Hey, Hal. Welcome home, kiddo. I've decided to stop, Dad. Why do you keep saying dad at the end of every sentence? I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was doing it, Dad. Because she hasn't seen you in 12 years. Back to Chessie. She knows something's off, but she doesn't know what it is yet. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's almost like you were... Forget it. It's impossible. Again, why did everybody, Chessie and the grandpa, go along with his plan? It's a good thing the dad is so rich so he can pay for all this therapy they're gonna need. Back in California, apparently Dennis is gonna get remarried to Meredith Blake. She turns out just to be a gold digger. He's everything you ever wanted for your little girl, plus millions more. Or he's going to adopt her. This movie is so confusing. I wanna know what you think about making Meredith part of the family. It's a dream come true. I've always wanted a big sister. You're going to adopt Meredith. How? See, bless your life. How? Keep my calm down. down. How? Are you speaking French? She started yelling in French. I didn't even know she spoke French. She doesn't know French. You got the wrong kid. The girls, or girl, Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay, Lo the Lindsay Lohan's. The girls want to get the parents back together, but first they have to get Meredith out of the picture. The mom finally finds out that the daughter switched places and she gets super mad because she realizes that her plan of lying to her kids their whole lives is ruined. Did I hurt you when I threw that, um, what was it? Uh, uh... It was... A hair dryer. The mom and the daughter are on the way back to America to switch back to kids, and she's super nervous to see her ex-husband, and rightfully so, because he's Dennis Quaid. Then in this scene, Dennis Quaid finally finds out that the girls know about each other and switch places, and that the mom knows about the whole situation going on. I haven't seen or heard from you in, what, 10, 11 years. Let me explain why she's here. I'm not Hallie. Actually, I am. Where does she walk in from that Dennis Quaid doesn't see her until she's in the shot? Because I'm not Josh. We switched. I'm... I'm Josh. And I'm also Josh. We, we like switched Josh said, at we summer switched. camp. That's at how summer we, camp. That's how we know each we other. We know each other now. We know what you did. We know! I'm not Hallie. Actually, I am. Both of them? No, they both aren't Hallie. You have two girls. Try to keep up. I wonder how this rom-com is gonna end. Are the mom and daddy gonna get back together and reunite the family? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. The girls just bully Dennis's fiance, Meredith, like so mercilessly that she just leaves. She's like, I don't want any part of this. And then Dennis Quaid's like, no, I choose my daughters. I don't want you. It's me or them. Take your pick. Them. Yeah. After all that effort of switching places and getting rid of the fiance to set the parents back up, the parents try to do the same thing again and split the twins up. What are we going to do about the girls? Well, now that they've met, we can't very well keep them apart. Well, I could keep them for half the year and then you could keep them. Well, guys, they can't go to two different schools every year. That's nuts. I agree. Well, and I could keep them both for a whole year, and you could Liz. keep them. Luckily, they realize it's a bad idea and then end up getting back together anyway. Because we didn't want to lose you two again. We? We. Is he saying we to reiterate the girls we, like her and I? Or is he saying yes in French to say yes to the question she just asked? They do end up getting remarried. It's like the last scene of the movie, but they don't tell us the logistics of 
who's moving where, what they're gonna do. She can't leave her wedding dress dynasty back in London and he can't leave all of his money in California. I wanted to see how the storyline progressed after they get back together and get remarried. I Googled to see if there was a sequel to The Parent Trap. This one came out in 1998 and apparently there's another one that came out in 1961. I don't know how the sequel came out in 1961 and the original came out in 1998 but apparently that's how they did it. And then I was thinking, I wonder how the reviews went of this movie. Lindsay Lohan in this movie was stunning. She was amazing. But Lindsay Lohan in this movie, oh, she was a terrible actress. This reminds me of an old movie that I made, very similar to The Parent Trap. I'll put it at the end of this movie. Thanks for watching this. I would say I'd see you later, but I can't see through the camera. You can only see through this way. Hey guys, hey what's guys, going what's on? Oh, are you starting? Yeah, I am. You always start. I don't think so. I'll start this time. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to You Never Listen to Me. Well, technically, by you listening to me, I am listening to you. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Confuse me with my, or your words. How do you even know what I'm trying to do? It's a good thing you're handsome. Right back at me.